My task is, as Daniel said, to illustrate our vision, our common vision for a new global peace offensive. I'll try to do so. Recognizing the dangers of current wars and the urgency of the moment, the World Academy of Art and Science and the European Academy of Science and Art came together and crafted a vision for a global peace offensive. This initiative, as you will see later on in the official uh, signing, in the official signing of the document itself, aims to identify practical measures to change direction and lessen the intensity of confrontations through a global peace effort, focusing on incremental, reciprocal, reciprocal steps for conflict resolution. It emphasizes cultural, scientific, economic, educational, and environmental diplomacy, alongside political, economic, and media systems. The world we navigate is both multipolar and multi-perspective, requiring a deeper understanding of our environmental surroundings and the world we inhabit. We must understand what drives individuals and groups including students and future generations. Complex environments do require a vision ahead on how things can be done when the deadlock is resolved, building trust, avoiding dehumanization, double standards and forgotten conflicts. As complexity grows, it is essential to integrate multidisciplinary perspectives throughout our educational systems, curricula and evaluations. International cultural awareness should not be seen as barriers or demarcation lines. This is not the time for apologetic outcries or defensive strategy to conceal our own beliefs. Such awareness should be accompanied by deep consciousness of our cultural heritage and history. Arts and science advancements are indispensable for having a forward-looking vision and for transmitting knowledge with a deep sense of humanity, inspired by critical thinking and informed decisions. Throughout our vision statement, for a global peace offensive, we have a unique responsibility to work towards trust building initiatives, assessing the needs and claims of all parties in any given conflict, giving a voice to all stakeholders and reinforcing promising international cultural exchanges and collaboration. A vision of human security rooted in peace human rights and individual progress acts as the true gatekeeper of our society. Even in the face of deep divides, we need to enhance literacy, advance science, and ensure that the quality of our studies reflects human aspirations. We must encourage students to learn how to learn, orienting themselves in the labyrinth of information artificial intelligence products, and the vast galaxy of data. We know that artificial intelligence is a double-edged sword, has a dual role. Undoubtedly, artificial intelligence can enhance intergenerational dialogue and help bridge the gap between developed and developing countries. Artificial intelligence system can act as multipliers for both war and peace, fostering mutual understanding or dystopian scenarios. They could help predict armed conflicts and their root causes, and also devise optimal interventions to avert major crises. By analyzing behavioral changes and megatrends, we can avoid spiraling into crisis, optimizing interventions and fostering cross-disciplinary collaboration is crucial for improving intergroup relations. Artificial intelligence is also a tool for peace building and diplomacy, as we know. 
and can become akin to an autonomous weapon as well, beyond human control, but it could also ease tensions by controlling or resolving existential threats and analyzing vast data sets. Predictive diplomacy and predictive peace building uses machine learning nowadays for scenario planning towards achieving peace. Traditional tools of politics and diplomacy are becoming outdated, especially with looming threats emanating from climate change, polarization, forced migration, and extreme violence. Science diplomacy relies on interdisciplinary work that unites political science, mathematics, and, and behavioral science, including branches like computational diplomacy and negotiation engineering. Text mining, as an example, for diplomatic relations is a modern application that can enhance cooperation and improve outcomes of negotiation processes. Our vision statement calls for innovative educational models that combines artificial intelligence and the mobilization of social networks that significantly influence political decisions and global peace dynamics. We aim to identify create and project peace building opportunities, facilitate dialogue between conflicting parties, improve decision making, analysis and narratives through innovation conflict resolution techniques and strategies. We will explore together ways to expand our efforts on a multi-regional scale and attract also human financial and other resources for our mission. A vast field of opportunity exists for prediction and, anticip and anticipation, backed by enormous data sets. Examples are in diplomacy are resolutions, for instance, negotiations, products like statements, reports of the Secretary General of the United Nations, imagine whatsoever. I mean, uh, reports of the Security Council. There is a lot that is part of our key, but data and computational modeling could improve our understanding of how multilateral organizations function and influence diplomatic processes. Although negotiation engineering won't replace face-to-face -face diplomacy, it can help build trust with accurate data and prediction. Media monitoring and analysis is another application where machine learning can anticipate conflict escalation, exemplified by inflammatory speeches, and support informed decision-making. Peace modeling to tackle climate change is another potential application. The issue of fake news is pertinent. Addressing data veracity is a critical research area. Artificial intelligence could assist, <laughs> but also could risk creating distorted data, data leading to an artificial truth. But it's also true that artificial intelligence information can be checked by alternative artificial intelligence systems. So what is the future of science diplomacy? Training science diplomats, building their capacity and evaluating progress will become essential in the near future. Shared interests and goals in science diplomacy are expanding already, with non-state actors increasingly involved in technological progress. Emerging economies are well positioned to use science diplomacy to prevent conflict and inequalities, create new norms, and extend their influence. The soft power of diplomacy can help advance global common interests alongside the hard power of science. Global issues like climate change and pandemic preparedness requires transnational strategies, transnational strategies based on trust building, international exchanges, and collaboration. We hereby invite the academic community, altogether intellectuals and global leaders, to support our common vision, individually and institutionally. So we join forces to build a bright, secure, and peaceful future for all. Thank you.